Hi everyone, this is Vicki, and I am here to do a tutorial on these uh, pocket uh, envelopes, um, laminated envelopes. Uh, requested uh, first a couple years ago and uh, again a few weeks ago, and so I said, well, I should revisit my project and uh, do a little tutorial. Uh, and I also am adding it to Satmore Makes, hashtag Satmore Makes with Joe Norwood of Greenwood Girl Cards. Um, Joe's been a friend of mine for over 10 years on YouTube and she is just an accomplished um, artist and, and uh, card maker, craftsman and does an array of different things. She has a wealth of knowledge and I do, um, if you don't already follow her, uh, I do recommend that you check her channel out. So hashtag, hashtag uh, Satmore and Makes was started by Jill about three years ago during the pandemic when everyone was shut in and couldn't um, really connect with people. And so uh, she decided that she was herself going to do some crafting uh, every week. And so she, that's why it's on Saturday to do a little crafting, if we, even if it's just an hour, to share with everybody else who is in the community of arts and crafts. So, I joined in about a year and a half ago, and uh, this year, this is my second one uh, for this year of 2023, and um, the first one I did was on revisiting my envelopes. Okay, so that's the, um, that is the story on on hashtag Satmar and Makes and also on these envelopes. So th let's dive into the envelopes. So this was the original one I made that I got a request for a tutorial. So it is a it is a laminated envelope with a snap closure and it also has a pocket on the outside and I made it so that you can put little envelopes or you can put whatever you want into it. So so I have all these different envelopes that it fits. It won't fit a business envelope, however. And then on the other side, I have the snap closure opens and there's a pocket on the inside as well. So that makes it stay in. So you can put little things or whatever you want to use this for. Um, I thought it was just a good idea to have to make these and also it just was fun um, this paper that I used was um, a wrapping paper given to me by my friend um, Marilyn G she wrapped a gift in it and I loved it so much I used it and I explained that and then to the very first video this is my fourth um, video on laminated projects and so I will list the others um, in the in the caption on the side. So basically this has two parts. So it has this part which is the pocket part and then this part which is the closure part, the flap closure envelope part. So that uh, I recommend that you do the pocket first so that um, you know that the um, this flap part will fit inside the pocket. You have, um, I have these which are, it says eight and a half by 11 inches. However, the pocket actually uh, measures nine inches, nine inches across. I think it's eight and a half because there is a quarter of an inch on each side allowance for the, um, it sticks to each other on the sides. And so that's what that that's the reason why the final product will be um, eight and a half inches. Okay. That being said, I did do um, uh, patterns with measurements for you. So I do have the patterns for the flap part envelope and the pocket size envelope. So the measurements are this one actually. Okay, so since I recommend making this pocket first, I'm going to start there. 
So the pocket, and did I mention I use the scotch <laughs> machine? Okay, so uh, the pocket itself uses, I, I used, you can actually make two at once, but I'm going to just do one. Um, and you can see that it's end to end. So you use the whole thing for that. This is the measurements for the pocket. So you can see it's nine inches using that whole bottom uh, portion. The sleeve is nine by 11 and a half tall. Okay, but we're um, going to be using this whole sheet because it folds in half to make the pocket. Okay, I am going to do the way um, I, I do the sewing, but if you don't have a sewing machine, I'm going to show you how to do it with using the, the red, red tape, red line tape. And it is, I think Michael sells this in the quarter inch. So um, you can use this, but it's kind of thin. I recommend you using the thicker side. It will stay longer. Um, and sewing will be the best, actually. Okay, so there's another way you can do it, um, but I'm not recommending that one at this point. You can ask me later if you want to see it. Um, so you're going to get your envelope get your pocket this thing here and turn it to the side okay turn it to the side and you're going to have the closed in on the left side and then it opens from the sides you're going to open it up and at this point, I'm going to turn on the machine because it takes three to um, four minutes to heat up. So turn that machine on, and when it's ready, this light here on the bottom goes on. Okay. So what I want to do is um, show you how to put the sequins, or I don't know what these are called. They're scatters or something. Okay. So. I picked uh, this paper for the envelope. You're going to want to coordinate your papers. And it's it's best to use double-sided, but if you don't um, have it or you pick uh, ones that didn't, um, aren't, these are not double-sided. And so I decided to put them together. So these are my papers I'm going to use. And um, so I picked out scatters. Um, I originally used the um, confetti, which I said in my previous video, I don't, can't find it. <laughs> I packed up my um, craft room and redid the flooring, and then I can't not find where I put these. But I made some, and so I made some of these using... Um, a paper tray ink uh, thing like this um, but it comes out too big so I had to cut them smaller so then I decided you know what I can cut circles so I did do some pink ones just for this video and um, I'm going to use the scatters from uh, this is from Michael so if you have the unicorn mix I'm not going to put the unicorns in because it doesn't go with bunnies <laughs> <laughs> but I'll use some of the other pieces in here and then also I'm going to use this one that is also a target mix and they don't care they don't sell these mixes anymore but I'm sure like all of us crafters you have some kind of little I like small ones so this one is good this one has hearts and this is a oh it doesn't say but I think this is a recollections um, so you can use these kinds of things. Um, but I'm going to use this one. This mix. Okay. Okay. So I have these. And I have my little confetti I made. And some other ones. 
All right, so we're not working with the paper right now. We're going to just work with the um, glitter things, as, um, pieces. And I'm going to start with the uh, larger pieces of the confetti first. So I'm going to start putting those on my paper. And I'm going to fill up this whole paper because um, the center is going to be the folded end part. It's going to be here. This is the folded end. So it's going to look like this, sort of. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to want to put it mostly through here. And then this part is going to be cut away. So I'm going to put some of these uh, strategically throughout here. And then I'm going to put some pink uh, little dots. And if it's um, one-sided, you want to make sure that it's all one one side. You don't want to have, um, you know, a different pattern because like, like these, it's silver on the side. So, I mean, if you wanted to have it that way, that's fine. That's fine too. You could do that. But um, I'm just going to put um, some pink ones and, and different areas and try not to be folding it because when you, it has a lot of uh, static and it wants to just fly the little pieces and sequins and there's so many ideas that you can do with these um, pockets and with laminated projects it's just endless and it's so fun to think of new things and to try different things um, that's the fun i get out of um, doing this type of crafting is um thinking up of things and, and just being able to um, follow through and do it. Okay, so I think that's about it for the confetti. And then I'm going to just sprinkle some of these things on uh, in different areas. And I've said before, less is more because I've done more and it's just more. <laughs> so anyway, um, let me just sprinkle some of these. This is so pretty, isn't that so pretty? It kind of has a little bit. Of, the stars are whitish, and um, I really like that. And then I'm going to move this and put some on this side. And if you get too much in one area, you can just kind of spread it out or get a brush and just brush it a little bit. Maybe it works. We can try it and see if you want to brush it around you want to let's see I don't seem to have any more of those but I'll just put the pink ones and see my machine is is still not ready yet and um, I apologize if this video is going to be a bit long um, I tend to get long-winded or can't remember words and so I have a problem <laughs> with that but um, if you want to make it you'll stick with me so, I also recommend you follow the, um, the pattern that I have for the first one that you make. And um, so that you get the feel of um, the size and everything. And then you can venture out on yourself um, with different, um, you know, different, different things, different uh, sizes and there's a lot of videos out there that tell you, um, you know, the, 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 there's a lot of videos that, you know, show you how to make different kinds of things, uh, pockets, different kinds of pockets, and it's always fun to make. Um, so I'm going to just leave it like that, and my, um, my machine is ready now. And see how it's kind of flipping so when you close it you want to just be really careful slowly kind of press it down as you go so that the um, stars and those things don't flip up or like this one is starting to fold so you want to make sure it's not folded up and uh, if I'm lucky it'll come out okay like that okay and then I'm going to move this pocket closer to me because I want to bring in this machine closer 
and then what I'm going to do is to turn it and you might be out of frame uh, as I turn it because it's 11 inches and I don't have a whole lot of room here okay so okay so I'm going to pick it up on the sides holding the sides I'm going to go forward and then it's a little cumbersome because of the the camera is in front of me and then I'm going to place it in the center and looks like I'm getting a little curls on some of the confetti but this is just a demonstration so um, you could take your time I don't want to take up a lot of your time um, watching this video okay so already I can tell I've been too close here with this because I'm going to be cutting this edge so those are going to be cut off probably so you want to make sure you don't do the same mistakes as I do <laughs> and then I like to go in and flip it the other side and do it a second time when it comes out I'm going to turn it around and do the other side and you might want to use less confetti I got a little rambunctious there and uh, not confetti but little the scatters um, I think I have a little bit too much in there but oh, you be the judge I like the way this one came out so that's quite a bit but and there are other ones I I could show you um, you can look at the previous video I have a, a lot of um, pockets I made if you haven't already seen it for some ideas okay and so looks like looks like that turned out good okay so what I'm going to do now is um, turn this off because I'm going to turn it on again later and I don't want to um, overheat it so you can see that I can choose actually if I want to use the silver and pink or if I want to use the blue and then I only have the blue on one side because that's all I had <laughs> so now what I what I want to do is fold it in half and I want to make sure that it's um, equally placed so it's not crooked I'm going to hold it down and then I'm going to put it make a little crease so if I'm going to push it forward so you can see the crease I made and um, and then fold it hopefully it's equal okay all right so right now I'm not going to cut the top I'll leave that for after I make the flap envelope part okay so I what I want to do is to close your close it so I'm going to put the red line tape on it and I'm going to do the red line tape from the top uh, folded area and make sure that I let's see make sure that I ooh, I'm losing the edge um, let's go all the way here and then I'm going to cut this end off and see this is why you want to make sure um, that you make this part first because you may make this you know smaller of an envelope um, by just a quarter you know just by a, a slight portion and um, then your your uh, flat portion is not going to fit so I'm going to put this on and it's kind of let me see if I can put a piece of paper underneath so I can see it a little bit better okay so that was better right all right and 
I'm just going to cut this edge off roughly, okay? Because that's going to come off anyway. And now I'm going to take these these little pieces off. Uh, the red paper comes off and leaves the uh, sticky sticky portion. So you can kind of see that. This is why I really like the sewing better. It's so pretty much prettier than this um, edge. But you know, if you don't have a sewing machine, it's kind of you know. At least you'd be able to make these pockets. And so I am going to try my best to get these even. So, let me try to do one side at a time then. So, it's already kind of folded, and I'm and then I'm going to do the side. And try to get in frame. Let's see, can you see? Okay. So I'm going to go on this edge. Um, okay, so I get a little bowing for the pocket, and that's nice. I like that. Okay. Hopefully that'll be okay. So I have this part done, and we're going to wait to cut it. Okay, so put this aside. And next we're going to do the um, the flap part. So here is the flap part, and I, I measured it all together. You're gonna do eight, cut eight by eight, an eight by eight piece of, um, I use vellum for the pattern. And then what I did also was I cut it out. So here is the piece that's cut out. And this is a lighter vellum. I just did that by accident, but it works. Um, and then we're going to get our paper and cut that out. And apologize for misplacing that envelope portion. Hmm. Here it is. All right. So I have already cut it out, as you can see. And you want to put a crease line. So get your um, get your little uh, machine. What is this? <laughs> get this out, and then I put it on the edge. Um, if you have the other one, I have that one too, but let's see. All right, so I've already cut it out. And so you want to um, place this at uh, two and three fourths. This one's uh, One, two, and three fourths. Okay, well, for some reason, this one is it's a little bit more. It doesn't really matter. You can make it three inches or what is that? Um, two and three fourths is up here. It's still just a little shorter, but that's okay. I've I've already creased it, and it's two and and uh, seven eighths it looks like. Okay, and then you use your bone folder and and measure it out like that. So mine's going to be a little bit bigger of a flap. Okay, so when you pick your paper, of course, you want to make sure your paper's not upside down on the flap. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your take your um, extra paper and you're going to turn it upside down 
Okay, so I happen to have lost that piece. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to make that paper here. Um, put it through here, and then you're going to push it all the way to the end, and then use your pencil and cut it out. And then this will be on top, like so. Okay, I'll show you another one. I decided I didn't want to do that for this one. I wanted it, I like this, and you can't get this flower on there um, like that on the, um, the other way because it's too short. So I decided I'm going to flap it over this way. Okay, so mine is going to be that way, but I just wanted to show you that you can cut it and paste it on top of here. I'll show you a, a completed one I did that way, as I did for the, uh, mer the, the unicorn. See, the unicorn, this, this paper is directional, so I had to cut a piece and put it on here. And this uh, wrapping paper is so pliable, it's so thin, that you can do that with this. Um, the other one I made, is the it's a little tougher because the the paper is uh, thicker. This is thinner paper, also. These both of these, so it works well. This is also this is um, Hobby Lobby, in fact, paper. So it's so cute. I love it. And um, I don't have that many Easter papers <laughs> or Valentine papers. I I just have what I have from the past. And so so then after you score it, and it it can go either way. Then I'm going to um, laminate it. So I'm going to turn my laminator back on. And it should start up pretty quickly because it's still warm. So what I'm going to do is open up a po the pocket. And I am going to set it into here. doesn't matter what direction. You just want to kind of get it in the center because you want to um, have it equal either side so you can make adjustments for your um, pocket to put it in the pocket so it will fit because once you laminate it you can't really fix it after it's laminated you can um, I have cut the top of one of them but it's easier I've cut this portion off because it was too long you know if it's too long it's hard to um, do the bottom part of the pocket with snap so you want to make sure that it's not too long because you're going to put the snap here and snap here if your pockets way up here it's it's hard for the machine part to close it so and I'll sh the the hand machine so I'll, I'll show you that in a bit but see I cut this off because it was too long um, not my pattern I just had made it longer I thought that would be cute to have a longer one but then I realized you can't have a pocket it would be too short of a pocket for you to put the snap on if you get my drift so um, at any rate so if you have enough allowances on the side you have a quarter of an inch that's going to you can't cut off and then um, you know you have more of an edge here to work with to get inside that envelope okay so the pockets are ready ready or the machine is the machine is ready to take the pocket and so I'm going to run this through all right so There we go and that's going to run through oh okay so i i didn't i didn't notice that you couldn't see <laughs> okay well you can see it coming out and i'll probably run it again uh, i'll run it the opposite direction so you see i used the bottom the closed bottom to run it through the first time and 
so since it comes out I'll run it through again looks like a little a little star got stuck in there all right so I'm going to put it right through again Okay, I didn't mention that before you laminate it, you should stick it in your pocket to make sure it fits. Because without without the uh, lamination, but I had already um, checked that, and I'm cutting the edge off, leaving like a an eighth of an inch on here all the way around and hopefully it's going to fit and if it doesn't fit then you know what I have to make another one So I'm going to take a bit of this off on the bottom too because it looks like it's too much to me. You can use a, uh, a cutter, a uh, guillotine or whatever you'd like. I'm just going to move this out of the way. And, and then I want to make sure I can fold this down. and turn my machine off I'm done with that don't want to keep buying machines of which I have <laughs> many different kinds of machines of uh, things I use and abuse so I'm going to use my bone folder and um, this seems a lot nicer than the other one I did because the papers are thinner so and if you know, if you use just one paper, it's even better. Um, so, fits perfectly, except for the top. Okay, so the top, we need to cut it down. and um, But it does fit sideways and side widthwise. Fits very well. Um, I'm going to put... You can leave it like this, but I'd rather cut the edge a bit. It's just too much. So, um, I am going, I have a template, and so I'm going to use this to, to cut the uh, V. So, what I need are a couple clothespins to hold this together. Sorry for the length of this tutorial, but I don't think I could make it shorter, really. There's so much to do on this. It took me a long time to, um, to figure out what I was going to say and all that. Okay, so I'm going to um, just cut it freehand. Uh, and you can see all of the wasted <laughs> bits I'm cutting away. Uh, so when you make it, you will be mindful of where this is going to cut off. So I cut this off for that pocket. And now I have this really pretty pocket. Isn't that so pretty? 
now I could decide if I want to have it with the bunnies and with the uh, blue part showing on this side or do I want it with the blue part in the back which is better so I think I like seeing the bunnies more so I don't know what do you guys think oh, of course it's too late if I um <laughs> you could cut this down more if you like if you feel this pocket needs to be lower um, but I I think this is fine for me because I like opening it all up because you can see this pretty flower this whole area here is so cute okay so next we're going to do is um if it's pretty good, I mean, as far as on either side, it goes in easily, and then there's a little room, but I'm going to make the um, closure. And the little closure I want to pick is, um, I picked the pink ones, but let me show you what, what kind of snap thing I got. So mine is this I got on Amazon. And then I got this my, maybe three, four, three years ago, I believe, because uh, I was going to make something else with out of fabric. And um, anyway, um, this has all these pieces that you can make three different sizes with, but it only comes with the small, small sizes. I believe this is um, the smaller size. I'm not sure, but you get these different I got um, one I got all the pastels and two pinks and then it comes with the white and a kind of a, a darker yellow a lighter yellow and then um, a blue and a blue green and then um, this light pastel uh, green so that's what it came with and I put it in this little case like this I wouldn't lose it and it have it all together and this is the little bag it comes with with the other tools okay I haven't used those because I only have one side size uh, these size oh, I don't know the size of that it must be the smallest one it tells you how to make it but I'm gonna just show you because if you get a different brand then um, you won't you know you won't know it will be different to the way you put it together okay so what I do is I kind of just decide where I want to put it and you're going to notice that this portion here is limited and even if you curl it up it's going to be really hard to put in so I rather I rather put it I rather put it um, where it's comfortable so no more than this this amount so within an inch or less than an inch so I'm going to poke a hole where I think I want it and I think I want it right right here so I'm going to poke poke it with my awl and left a little hole and let me show you the pieces here there are you need two of these button looking things okay one for each side and then you need I call this an innie and I call this an outie okay so I put on the top part I'm going to put one of these buttons and then I'm going to put an any on top of it and then excuse my hands by the way because I I am cooking um, three times a day and doing all this puree and all these things for my mom so uh, my hands are a mess and they're cracking and they're uh, have look at that uh, but anyway <laughs> okay so 
the um, button part goes on the bottom and the black shiny part and then the the other part is on the top and you're going to go right in the center okay do you see that and i'm just going to give it a nice squeeze not a huge squeeze but and it's it's on there okay now the, what i do is i make sure that this is in correctly not too kind of in the middle and then what i'm doing is i'm getting my my ink okay i'm going to use an ink making sure that this is centered pretty centered i'm going to ink this top a bit i just find that this is helpful for me <laughs> being an old person okay so um and then i'm going to just tap it and there leaves a mark in the meantime i'm going to take off this ink off this part it just wipes clean and then I'm going to get my awl and I'm going to put a hole right in the center of this one and then I'm going to put the button in here the button portion into the hole and then I'm going to take the Audi huh? the Audi and I'm going to put that showing through there. I'm going to turn it around. And with the black portion on the bottom, I'm going to hold the button part. And then I'm going to slip that right over the white portion. You see that? Give it a little squeeze. And it's in there. And it's done. So all I need to do is to snap it. How about that? And it's done uh, so I'm happy with that and my tutorial is finished no it's not because I want to cut this off I'm going to use my long scissors and cut a portion of this off make sure that this glue is on it looks like it's separated All right, and I'm just going to cut it in half so it's a quarter of an inch and not a quarter inch. Okay. What did I say? <laughs> okay, it's going to be an eighth of an inch because I'm cutting the, it was a quarter, now it's an eighth. Okay, so I'm going to watch what I'm saying now. <laughs> make sure make sure i'm making sense okay um but you know what i mean right okay and i don't like this um edge here it's so sharp so i'm going to take my little scissors and i'm going to kind of round it a bit because i just don't like that sharp edge so i'm going to take this one also and round it off round it off a bit and isn't that so cute super cute and then this is the back pocket so there is your pocket and to do whatever you want with and let me show you one i just made um today or yesterday i forget when but this one is so cute but this paper is so thick and when I uh, flipped over the paper I put some washi on top probably made it even thicker I made my little um, uh, confetti out of um, napkins <laughs> put some napkin um, you know paper napkin and so here's those little chickies oh, they're so cute and my little washi washi tape which I folded over and uh, this is reverse side of the paper. And I thought that came out really cute. So it opens up like this. Like this pretty. Actually, what would have been pretty is clouds. Wouldn't that be cute with die cut clouds on this paper? So anyway, that is that portion. Now let me show you one other thing before I let you go. And that is, let me grab it. 
a lot of you gave me suggestions about using these for um, for ephemera and I said yeah great idea ephemera so um, I did stick some ephemera in this one and I thought just the pocket is good you can put it inside this pocket or you can just stick it like this and stick it in your basket and thumb through it also I thought of using um, uh, what do you call those um, paper, oh here I've got them back here okay so so I thought of putting all this is all the ephemera I have <laughs> for Easter <laughs> my collection of ephemera actually these came off of uh, some baskets I got and so I just kept it for the idea because I thought because I don't know a Manny but um, aren't these eggs look uh, handmade I'm sure they are and the so watercolor paper maybe sprayed I don't know but I thought those are super cute and then I have a little bunnies I have some packaged uh, chicks and rabbits that I haven't used and I've got these um, place place what do you call those that you can use place cards and I think those are from Target years ago and um, and also I've got these that hold something maybe they hold an egg that you know wraps goes around like this and holds maybe an egg what does it say mm, napkin rings oh okay napkin rings <laughs> Okay, so anyway, I have this, and I and I thought this is a good idea. Put the um, washi tape on the edge so that you can, if it's closed, you can open it up, or you can see where it ends. Also, I have all of these super cute um, these things, uh, paper clips that you can stick on, and I thought that was so super cute, right? And I have a ton of different kinds. Who would have known that I have all these different kinds? You know, I have ones for Halloween. I have ones for Valentine's Day. <laughs> I have these ones. And um, this. And I have these crocheted ones. I mean, you know, it's endless. I have for um, Fourth of July. And bling. And flowers. You know, little clips. You can clip them on every single one of the things that you put in here. There's a heart one here. And so the heart heart paper clip would be cute too. So that's my idea today for you guys. And I hope you like my tutorial. And um, I enjoyed doing this for you guys. And I hope that someone gets something out of it. <laughs> so... Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.